so hello everyone a very good afternoon to all of you first of all how are you all doing you are doing good great or super duper amazing let me ask you how are you all doing el vishnupriya how are you okay asutosh how are you i am fine sasut what about you fine yes i am also fine then uh, pratiksha yes i am also fine so we can start our class you yes, you have you can pen if you will find any difficulties and any importance in the class any important point then you can also mention it in your notebook so first of all what is the chapter name the chapter name is all it is all about nutrition in plants we all know that as we have already read it in our geography class that biotic component and abiotic component and snehanjali was uh, at that class snehanjali was our teacher so in bi uh, in biotic component we all have read about the plants and animals the living organisms in our environment so plant is also a living organism yes or no yes so as plant is also a living organism then uh, plants also produce some foods to uh, to cure them so uh, first of all nutrition in plants what are the nutrients moving forward with nutrients we all know that we also need food uh, to get energy as if we don't get energy then we are uh, we will be not uh, uh, that uh, we don't have that energy to do anything so we all need energy to do and it will come from the food uh so what are nutrients first of all who can tell me what are nutrients of your own word whatever you can tell just raise your hand raise your hand who want to tell just show me your hand or else what are nutrients okay no priya Ma'am, the main component of food like carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamin, and minerals are called nutrients. Yes. Then, uh, Sasut. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Sasut, who is sitting under a tree? Tell. Yes, the the components of food that are required for our body is known as uh known as nutrients. And the nutrients are different kinds like carbohydrate, proteins, minerals, nutrients, and also. We... Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sasut, who is sitting under a tree? So, what are nutrients? the component of food that are required for our body to get energy just like uh, vishnu priya and sasut already uh, told that uh, like carbohydrate protein fats uh, vitamin minerals etc is there any importance of this yes there will be some importance so uh, so why we eat food there will be some importance and there will be some work in our body so that we can get energy so what are the uses of it 
first of all it help in our growth then second to fight against disease because uh, in uh, in our area if uh, we will don't eat food properly then we can uh, suffer from many diseases which are very harmful for us then third gives energy i have already taught you so don't think about the nutrients uh, nutrients and nutrition is there any difference nutrients and nutrition is there any difference yes ma'am what is that i can tell yes all the carbohydrates proteins fat vitamins and minerals are the components of food these components uh, of food are called nutrients mm, the um, the process of uh, taking food by an organism and its uh, utilization by our body is called nutrition yes so there is difference between uh, these two terms nutrition and nutrients so if we say that nutrition word and nutrient word is uh, is uh, related to each other is it true or false what do you think nutrition and nutrient are related terms satsat sairath yes okay so according to me uh, these are related terms because uh, nutrients are that uh, the main components of the food and we take the main components of the food at the process of nutrition so this word are uh, related okay so what is nutrition it is the mode of taking food by an uh, by an organism and its utilization in our body is called as nutrition it is of two types we have already read it, it in our uh, i think sixth class also you have already read it like autotrophs and heterotrophs some of you have uh, read it as uh, my opinion i i i think so so what are autotrophs uh, the organism that can prepare their own food by using their simple sub substances are called as autotrophs a good example of autotroph is plants the food making process of plant is called as uh, photosynthesis then heterotrophs the organism that can that cannot prepare their own food is called as heterotrophs like uh, we humans you you have a uh, think about that that we can also prepare our own food so why it is telling that uh, plant uh, humans cannot prepare their own food we always make our food our mother make our food we always uh, go to school and uh, eat at tiffin eat at midday meal so why it is saying that uh, humans cannot pr prepare their own food who has any idea i can tell yes sasut sasut sairat okay okay uh, we know that our mother is making food but the raw component that we got is from the autotrophs or the trees uh, and they are making that raw components without the raw components we can't make a uh, food that we are cooking just in our home and that is not the process of making food yes but sasut wait i have also one question that if uh, so that we also eat egg so it is it come from the animals so why not animals are in autotrophs okay uh, so the animals also feed on the trees or the plants who are also the autotrophs and without them uh, without the autotrophs they can't live so if they can't live then how they will produce the eggs and how they will get yes so right so we all know that autotrophs are the plants and except it i don't think so that there are any other things but if you think then there will be 
I you have I have such doubt in my class when I have read it in first time because it was saying that heterotrophs depend on the autotrophs directly or indirectly. So uh, I have already given you an example that how directly because we always eat plants also like the drumstick plant. Yes. Uh, Okay, no worry, uh, 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 Sasur, no worries. Uh, you can write it in your uh, chat box. Whatever answer you will get, you can write it in your chat box. Then, so uh, di how directly? Now, we always eat, not always when it will be on Monday or a Tuesday or any any day you will like your mother will uh, for, your mother will cook the drumstick plant leaf and you will say i don't like this i want to eat the chicken the egg i don't like this uh, uh, so what, whatever you want to eat your mother not always cook to you so how so we always eat the leaves of the plant drumstick plant and how indirectly First of all, directly, we eat plants like uh, drumstick leaf or any any uh, spinach leaf also. How indirectly? I have already given an example uh, that uh, um, the animals, we eat egg, we eat chicken, but the chicken uh, eat the, um, the plants. Uh, the plant of uh, the food produced by plants. So, uh, heterotrophs directly and indirectly depend on the autotrophs. Then, moving forward, so is it clear? Yes, ma'am. So, if I will ask uh, Asudos that what is the difference between the nutrition and nutrients, so what we will say? Okay. So, according to me, the difference here between nutrition and nutrients are like the nutrition is the mode of nutrying or taking in the food by an organism and its utilization by the body is known as the nutrition. And according to me, the nutrient is the component of food which are necessary for our body are known as nutrient. Okay. So, uh, Pratiksha, you tell what uh, what is uh, what is the difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs? Okay, the difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs is um, first of all, I want to explain what is autotrophic nutrition, the mode of nutrition in which organisms make their uh, make their own food by themselves are called autotrophic nutrition. The organisms which can make their uh, own food are called autotrophs. For example, a plant is an autotroph. The mode of nutrition in which organisms depend on others for their food is, is no, known as heterotrophic nutrition. The plants, the plants and animals which depend uh, on others for, for their food are called heterotrophs. For example, the dog, the human being is a heterotroph. Okay. So, uh, my question to Vishnu Priya, uh, that prove that how heterotrophs indirectly depend on autotrophs. Give an example. Indirectly. Ma'am, because the heterotrophs are uh, and this uh, human being, human being are not uh, made their food in uh, themselves, and it is also depend on other organism in uh, organism to make their food. Yes, but uh, still in confusion. Okay, so uh, Vishnu Priya, as I have already taught you that you you love egg or not? No, ma'am. You love chicken or not? Yes, ma'am. So, 
uh, what the chicken uh, eat? What the chicken eat? The chicken eat uh, the uh, food that is produced by plants. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, uh, we uh, chicken is not getting the food directly from plants. We are the food directly by plants. We first we we are eating the egg or chicken. Uh, then the chicken is eating the plants. So it is the example of how we depend on uh, on the plants or the autotrophs indirectly. In between, uh, Saswat, Saswat had uh, already uh, means uh, sent a message that what does autotroph and heterotroph means. Auto means according to him self and Drops means nourishment, or we can say the process by which the uh, means uh, they mint their food. So, what does hetero means? Uh, depend on others, a uh, dependable, and drops means that nourishment. So, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Saswat, for uh, giving this uh, to remind this. Then, uh, uh, then photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? We all know, we have already read it in, in our class, in our sixth class, that uh, 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 what uh, photosynthesis is the food making process in plants. And plants require sunlight, carbon dioxide, uh, green color pigment cl uh, called chlorophyll, water. These are the components. So first of all, we will read about parts of plant that are useful means uh, we will learn it in a better way. First of all, stomata. We all know that leaf is the, the uh, we can say leaf is the uh, kitchen room of the that plant because leaf, uh, leaf uh, make uh, food. Yes. So uh, what we can say? We can say that uh, in photosynthesis, uh, leaves prepare leaves prepare that food. So in leaf, there are uh, small small uh, holes like structures are present. That is a stomata. What is uh, the, that structure? They like stomata are like this. Yes or no? Stomata are like this, which are present in uh, uh, leaves, and it is like kidney like structure. Yes or no? It is the kidney like structure which is present in leaves. So I, I will show you the what is the open stomata. There are two types of stomata, but why it opens and closes? It is the closed stomata and it is the open stomata. But why it is closed and why it is open? Who can tell me what is the concentration and what is the reason behind it to close it and open it? What is that? Can I tell? Yes. Okay. So plant loses. Uh, a lot of water by the process of transpiration. To, to remove this process, the stomata close and when the need of water and air, it will open. Okay. Uh, then if you have no nectar problem, then uh, you can tell. Saswat. Oh, uh, yes. My answer is my answer. Okay, you have a letter problems. You can write. I will. Uh, uh, Pratiksha? As we know that uh, plants absorb wa um, water and mineral present in the soil and absorbed by the root and uh, root and transported to the leaves of plants. Um, then the plant, the leaves open the stomata when they uh, when they need their food they open the stomata and absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to make yes. their food by the process of photosynthesis yes so i have asked you that why if i will uh, it's just answer of one word but you are telling a uh, lots of sentences it's a one word question and only you have to uh, tell that Yes, so only the term is that 
it is the concentration of water in stomata. So why it close? When, uh, when the water concentration will high, then the stomata will open and when the water concentration will low, then it will close. But we all know that. Uh, we all uh, have heard about that, that don't sleep under the trees at night time. Our mother says, our in our village or in our town, all, all over, uh, say, always says that don't sleep, or uh, means under the tree while, uh, while night. Tell us. So, because as in photosynthesis, light always needs to do. So in at night time, plants uh, don't uh, plants don't do photosynthesis. And we all know that uh, in photosynthesis, uh, plants require what? Carbon dioxide to prepare their own food. And uh, in night time, so uh, the uh, plant will respire or not? The plant will also respire means it will breathe. So it need oxygen and it will release all the carbon dioxide, which we will not, we will feel sophisticated and which is not good for our health. And uh, I think uh, we will, uh, we don't have to sleep under a tree uh, because of this reason. Then moving forward with the function of guard cells. What are guard cells? So we all know that if we uh, do a structure of some stromata, then uh, stromata is, uh, is protected by a cell that is called as guard cells. So guard cell is, uh, guard cell uh, are present in uh, like the, what are the edges of the stromata and it, or it closes, it closes and opens. Not the stomata, but the guard cells. It closes the stomata and opens the stomata and it also protects the stomata. So what are the function of guard cells? Guard cells help to open and close the stomata. So uh, we can also say uh, uh, that stomata... Uh, yes. Then uh, moving forward with vessels. What a, in our daily life, we have heard about vessels. So like we have already heard about that. Uh, some of you are saying that, uh, ma'am, please teach us the transportation in animals and plants. So in transportation in animals and plants, you have already heard about the blood vessels. Yes or no? Yes, artery and veins. Artery and veins and the blood circulation, so and so on. So uh, you you are telling that um, please teach us the transportation uh, in the plants and animals. So you have already heard about the yes capillaries also. Uh, so you have already heard about mm, the blood vessels. So what is the work of blood vessels? The work of blood vessels is to uh, what we can say to transport blood from to different cells to different part of uh, to different part of the uh, or uh, to different organs. So, uh, what are vessels? It is also present in plants. Don't think about that. I am telling that that transportation in animals and plants. I am telling yes. If we talk about the transportation in uh, plants. Then vessels are useful in uh yes, but I always read books. But I always read books, so whatever I understood, I have to tell it. I I do another class, so uh so what is vessels? Vessels are the tube-like structures. Vessels are the tube-like structures, these are very thin. These are very thin. not made this. But this, very small. These are the very small tube-like structures that help to transport water, not blood. In plants, blood is not present, not blood, but also the water. So it helps to transport water from the different parts of plants. So then moving forward with, who can tell me what is the, uh, what is the help 
uh, and what the vessels help to do in photosynthesis. I will ask to Saswat. Saswat, uh, Saswat who is a, a green color wall behind, behind him. Just write it. Saswat Sairat, you tell. Okay. So vessels are used in the plants to carry out the water into the leaves and the minerals also from the ground. Okay. Uh, Pratiksha? Water and minerals present in the soil are absorbed by, by the vessels present in the steam and, um, steam and other parts of the plant and transported to the leaves to, uh, to do for the process of photosynthesis. Yes. So these vessels are play, present in which part? Of the plant, it is present in the stem of the plant. Then moving forward with chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. What do you think? It is a. Uh, it is a, a very good name. You have to. Uh, there are some people. It is an amazing, funny fact that there are some people who always uh, like some words and always tell it. Like some of you. Uh, some of you have already uh, told that I like the word chlorophyll. Then in every word, they will have chlorophyll, 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 chlorophyll. As they can talk about the chlorophyll. So they will practice chlorophyll, chlorophyll, chlorophyll. So moving forward with uh, that, these are the green color pigment. What is its function? These are the green color pigment. So in your mind, it will be like green color pigment, chlorophyll. It helps to catch the sunlight. It helps to catch the sunlight, means uh, it helps to absorb sunlight, which is important in photosynthesis. The energy from the sunlight is used to make food from carbon dioxide. Sun is the ultimate source of, source of energy. So we all know that sun is the ultimate source of energy. You have already read it in your uh, geography. In the first chapter of uh, that is of name solar system in sixth class. The first, the second page of uh, the second page of the the second page of the uh, second chapter, and it it was a yes yes. Uh, Sashwat is showing a leaf. The uh, the petal the it is a green color part. So from this you can see also the uh, vessels. You can also see that. Uh, there is a vessel and it is present and it extend up to and uh, cat it holds the leaf and you uh, are we able to see the stomata are we able to see the stomata no Tell. because it is a microscope microscopic organ yes so uh, what is the equation of it thank you saswat <clears throat> Uh, so, what is the function of it? What is the function of chlorophyll? The function of chlorophyll is to catch the sunlight. What is the equation of photosynthesis? The equation of photosynthesis is, uh, means if I will say that, this, uh, up, uh, like uh, material 1 plus material 2, in the presence of material 3 and material 4 is equal to material 5 and plus material 6. Let's replace these 1, 2, 3. First of all, carbon dioxide plus water. Carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and green color pigment called chlorophyll plant produce their food that will be that will be produced in uh, that will be carbo uh, carbohydrate that will be carbohydrate what is the simpler form of carbohydrate tell glucose yes the simpler form is glucose so we can also write it as glucose also and 
plus oxygen. So my question to you all, can any other part of the plant can do photosynthesis? Any other par part of the plant? Except yes. leaf. Uh, pratiksha, Pratiksha, tell. No, any uh, except leaf, any other part of the plant cannot do photosynthesis because leaf are the food factories of the plant. Don't write the answer. Can I? Yes. Yes, other parts like stems also can do the photosynthesis. Uh, like if we we'll take the instance, uh, the desert plants, uh, they have the spine-like leaves. Uh, so the uh, stems carry out the photosynthesis. Okay. So we can say that in deserts, plants' leaves are modified into spines. Yes or no? And it, with the help of its stem also. So uh, in desert plants, leaves are modified to prevent transpiration. Leaves are modified into what? Spines. Here, photosynthesis has been occurred in what? In other part of the plant, in stem. So we can say that, yes, any other part of the plant can also do photosynthesis. Then, did you all understand it? Or else I will explain it. Okay. So, another question I want to ask you. Can plants with colorful leaves, not green leaves, colorful leaves can do photosynthesis? Don't write in the chat box. As all. Uh, 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 okay. Can Colorful leaves, plants can also do photosynthesis. Only first, Pratiksha, yes or no? Yes, the leaves other than green also have chlorophyll. Yes, I am asking yes or no only. Asutos? Uh, no. Uh, Vishnu Priya? Um, yes. Uh, Sanskrit Sairat? Yes. Uh, mm, Sasut? Uh, another Sasut? Okay. Only answer yes or no. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, can plants with colorful leaves can do photosynthesis? So, we will say it as yes. They can do photosynthesis because they also have chlorophyll pigment. Yes, 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 I'm watching. Yes, they can do photosynthesis because they have their chlorophyll pigments uh, inside it. But they are covered by red or brown or yellow uh, yellow pigments. So they can also do photosynthesis. Then moving forward with algae. So please, this is the question to Vishnu Priya. Write, uh, uh, no, don't write in the chat box. Tell uh, what is the function of stomata? And the function of stomata? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, what is the function of uh, chlorophyll? Ma'am, your voice is not clear. Okay. So, uh, my question to Asutos. That what is the function of what is the function of stomata? Asutos. Hello. Can please repeat? I cannot understand. Uh, okay, I'm taking the question. 
listen it properly. P is the function of stomata in lips. Okay. So, stomata are the light or sunlight to make, to make the skin of the photosynthesis. Okay, you are not audible properly. So, uh, uh, not raise your hand. Just asking. Mm, okay. So, stomata are the small pore through which carbon dioxide enters to the leaf. Guard cells close and open the chlorophyll. It catches the sunlight. Vessels, vessels are the tube-like structures which are present in the stem of the plant or in the different uh, uh, different uh, uh, parts of the plant um, uh, that transport to water to different parts of the plant. So moving forward with algae, we can you can pronounce it algae or algae. So what are algae? The slimy green patches. On the water bodies is called as algae. So uh, you all have your uh, tubal at your homes, I think. Or wells. Well, but you have uh, 